Hello, welcome to the third episode. Uh, my name is Bo Dash, and uh, this episode is sponsored by Zulax Inc. Uh, I hope you come and visit us. Uh, there's links to our website underneath this video, www.zulax.com. And if you guys want to keep in touch and see when is the next episode going to come out, uh, there's links to our Facebook, Twitter. So just keep in touch. And basically today uh, I'm going to... I really love to talk about different categories of illustration and concept art. Basically, uh, the ones at least we use in the game industry or entertainment industry. And I have to let you know uh, in that there's so many type of uh, different concept and illustration, and there's so many different categories, especially with casual games and indie games coming out. There's so many different styles. So these categories that I'm going to mention, they are based on my, um, upon my own experience. And I try to make them very, very generalized. I try to generalize them, basically, make them very general. So uh, I, I divide them to three types, just environment, characters, and props. And obviously props, uh, it covers... If you draw a car, or if you make a concept for a vehicle, or a robot, or a garbage bag, or anything, and and same environment goes for just environment. It just makes sense. And characters, just uh, the characters in the game, and b uh, basically we're gonna start. And what you're looking at is like uh, right now is is a matte painting. So you might have heard that term around matte painting. What it means, like a uh, Basically, they use um, a matte painting in the movies to fill up the green screen behind the actors or in a game trailer or whatever. So, it's supposed to look very realistic and very photographic. Like, it looks, it's supposed to look actually uh, like a photograph. In most cases, obviously, I'm talking in a case if you're making a movie for a realistic movie. So, if you make an animation movie, uh, I guess the matte painting is supposed to look kind of cartoony. So, what, basically in this painting, I have used a lots of photos, lots of textures. And I have to let you know, like, uh, it might sound like a, uh, it makes it easier using photos. It's actually, is it, it is still going to take a lot of uh, knowledge and take a lot of work to get it to a photographic uh, look make it look very photographic you gotta know about colors you gotta know about perspective you have to play around a lot you have to go in and paint a lot of details so it's actually it can be very very uh time consuming and very hard and you're looking at this one uh, at the moment and basically uh as you can see uh, i took some photos here and i painted the rest but you cannot really tell in most cases you cannot really tell and you gotta understand, obviously, when they're gonna use this painting in a movie or a game trailer or whatever, there's gonna be characters and they're gonna be special effects. And they're probably gonna get it off these boats and they're gonna add their own boats. So moving to the next, so this is what is called, this is the meaning of matte painting. And this is done entirely in Photoshop, no 3D. And a lot of, sometimes when you do matte painting, a lot of people use 3D object and 3D softwares and to speed up the time, to speed up the the process. And we're going to cover this one later. I'm going to focus on background that in the beginning. So this one obviously is a, just a cartoony background for a game that we're doing. Let me see if I can show you some of the layers. This is basically a, just like a background. And with a, as you can see, there's a lot of saturated colors as when you make a cartoony kind of looking kind of backgrounds, you want to have some, not oversaturated, but some saturated color. The color is going to be more saturated. In a realistic painting, obviously, the color is going to be more grayish. But in a cartoony background, the color is going to be more saturated to uh, give that feeling of cartooniness. Or So as you can see here, like obviously everything painted on a different layers just for the sake of animation. So when you we give this a programmer or we give this, uh, we want to put this in a game engine, we can animate uh, different elements. 
and this is done obviously in Photoshop. As you can see, you can see a bit of brush strokes, but everything is like yeah, nicely done. This is one of the uh, art for one of our upcoming games. This is another like a. Yeah, this is this is almost done as a poster, promotional poster. It's actually a very large painting, and it took it took me like around I think four or five days to finish it, finish it off, and. It is a promotional piece. Uh, it meant as a promotional piece for a game. So as you can see, there's a lots of details. And uh, at the time, I didn't have access to 3D software, so I use all I use is painting and just photos and painting. So these monsters obviously are painted, and but I had to get them. I had to get everything to a level of photorealistic look. But as you can see, obviously this is not realistic. This is a based on a fantasy but the nature of the painting is supposed to be realistic and if I put in a uh, click on actual pixel this is how large it is you can just uh, zoom right in and the reason you want to work large actually you see like uh, look at this like look how large is that if you zoom back in it like, becomes so small one of the reasons you want to work large is sometimes in a game trailer or movies they got the camera zoom right in in this like uh, in this uh, at this point and you don't want your buildings or your colors gonna look blurry you want them to still look sharp and sometimes you send it, this out for print so you still want to have it sharp and the other benefit is anytime you want to make it down res it it's easy to do that you just you just down res it in Photoshop. You just bring down a resolution. So no, there's no problem with that. But if you want to, you do something uh, in a low resolution, and later on you need to make it high res. If you want to send it out to a print, or if you want to just need to ha have it in a higher resolution, it's going to be almost impossible to do because it's almost you have to do everything again. Because if you uh, gonna oppress anything, obviously it's gonna get blurry. And it's not gonna look good, so you have to go over, go over it, and paint over it, and it just, uh, it just, there's a lots of lots of hassle. So I don't think it's even worth it. So just make sure when you start something, uh, paint in a very high resolution. So this is like almost like a, a matte painting a slash concept painting, but it is done in a very realistic way. So you don't see the brush strokes. So let's see what else I got. All right. So this is like uh, I want to show the show you uh, show this to you guys because this is almost like a prop concept and a prop painting. So uh, a lot of time when you do design a prop, a lot of time like if we do it uh, as a line drawing or tonal drawing, so we give it a 3D artist and he just model it. But in this case, we have painted it because we want to tell a part of the story. And as you can see, there's some some textures used here and there, but generally you can see the brush strokes. So this is not really realistic. This is like actually look very painterly if you look at it. And sometimes when you even paint the environment in this kind of uh, in this kind of like uh, in this certain kind of quality, the environment gonna look uh, not realistic. So it's gonna look painterly. So this is not for sure not a matte painting because matte painting is supposed to look photographic. So this is not matte painting. This is meant to be a concept painting. So it's just a concept painting. We cannot use this in a as a background in a game trailer or movie trailer. Obviously, uh, some might do that uh, in as a style, like a because they want to have a, a sort of a stylized trailer or something like that. Uh, but generally, they don't do that. So this is another promotional piece. Uh, for our recent game, actually, Sea of Giant, and check it out. You guys can go on uh, zulax.com. There's links underneath, and you can try it for free on uh, Google and iTunes. And this is one of the promotional pieces, and this is actually one of the scene inside the game. And as you can see, everything meant to be realistic, but the colors are much more saturated in some areas. The reason for that because as I said, there's no uh, actually there's no rules. Generally, in a matte painting, you want to have the color 
grayish but there is no rule sometimes as a cell decision uh, we made a decision that we want to have some of the color very saturated in this game because it is after all it is an adventure game so as you can see there's some cool sculptures going on here and there's like ancient buildings and birds flying and waterfall falling and actually the reason I want to show you show this piece to you guys because I want to show you guys the use of 3D in this painting. These two sculptures are obviously done in a in a 3D software. Then I just take a screen cap and I just throw them in and I paint over them. And the benefit to that, uh, actually, I have it here. Is this? Yeah, that's it. So I have it here. Like as you can see, this is done in a a 3D software. It's been done like I guess in a three or four hours, and I just like I model some stuff like in three or four hours and just like a, take a, a screenshot and boom I throw in it throw that in and I paint, started painting over it I throw some texture over it and boom it was done so it saved me a lot a lot of time because if I want to go in and paint that from a scratch and it would take me way longer way longer time and time is very valuable in this industry so and it looks great is it just like a, the the 3D model give me a lot of great shadows, sh give me a lot of volumes, lots of characters. The other great thing about it actually, if I'm not happy with this angle, I always can rotate it around and take another screen cap and throw that in. So I, ha I don't have to paint everything over again. So that's the amazing thing about 3D software, and you should focus. You must focus on the goal, on the results as a general rule because uh, as a famous guy Edison said Thomas Edison there is no rules here we try to accomplish something so we are trying to accomplish something here we try to accomplish the we just try to create a crazy cool poster there's no rules of obviously as as long as you don't go out and rip other people art off or do anything all these photos like uh, are mine so I took most of these photos and some of them are from my friends that travel some other countries. So these, uh, some of my friends travel some other countries, and they gave me the photo of those buildings, and I have their permission. So uh, everything this painting, it is copyrighted, and it's like a, uh, it's on. Basically, uh, I haven't violated violated any copyright uh, rights. So as long as you just uh, take that into con consideration, what I'm saying as a general rule, you can break all the rules. But just try to make sure you don't rip anybody off and you try not to take in anybody else's art because you're going to go, you're going to get into some nasty spot. So make sure like uh, you do that. And with the digital camera and cameras becoming so cheap, it must be very easy for you to build a huge reference of photos. And there's actually some uh, photos in a public domain. You can go online and search for them. And maybe you can... Uh, use them just make sure they're free to use then uh, we're gonna get in some characters so this is like a very cartoony characters and the reason I chose is because it's monochrome and it is done for a iPhone game I think it's, it's been done a long time ago it's been done for iPhone game on iPhone game and uh, it is it's like a tonal kind of design and obviously it's very cartoony the shapes are cartoony it's a flat shades and flat colors, flat shapes. So the the most important part in these uh, designs are the shapes and maybe the lines. Then here we got another character design, and this is done as a concept painting. And you can see a bit of a story in the background. You can see the dinosaur, and you can see that. This guy, he's a time traveler, and he went back in time. So I just throw that, throw that dinosaur in in a painting. So it just tells a bit of a story. And as you can see, you can still see the brush strokes. Obviously, it's not photographic or super realistic. And it's meant as a painting, but it's much. It show much more realism. Obviously, it's not flat, uh, flat shading or, or like a flat shapes. Everything is very. We try to show a lot of volumes in this painting. As you can see, the 
the other thing is like when you do a painting like this try to when you add detail try to add detail to the most important part so I add a lot of detail like uh, on the, in this area because this is this is a concept this is what we want we're trying to sell this is it's a supporting actor so we just the, the shapes are much more flat and it's less details and the reason I throw that in because I just want to put the eye back into the composition so you just so your guns go this way and you go this way and you see the red thing and it goes this way so you just kinda just move back into the painting so so that's one of the reason and this is like a, actually this is a painting uh, it's almost like a portrait painting but it looks very uh, the reason I chose it is because it looks very traditional you can see the big brush strokes and it almost looks like it's been done by a traditional medium. It's actually been done entirely in Photoshop. And we've done this as a character design, but at the same time, you don't see the whole body, you just see the face. And uh, we try to convey some sort of mood. So that's the whole purpose of this painting. Uh, and we try to focus on her face, so that was the whole purpose of the painting. We just try to show the face and some of the face uh, characters, and that's pretty much it. And if you actually, I got the, I got the layers here. So you see, like this layer is like a bit of adjustment. I'm just gonna bring that in so you can see. There we go. So as you can see, actually, uh, this is like a picture I throw at the top. Sometimes a lot of people do that. So that's the actual texture. This is from my one of my old paintings. It's actually a traditional painting that I scanned in. So you see that just crazy brush strokes and everything. I just throw that in and I put it on 50 something percent. And you can play around with a, what kind of mode you can put in. But I put this one on a soft, soft light. And it just gives it a bit of texture. So it makes the painting kind of look more traditional so if I if I bring up the volume obviously you just you, do, you don't want to go too extreme you just want to and it's up to you it's all up to you you gotta you gotta trust your eyes after a while see what looks good or not but I just want to add some noise and make it more traditional so that's the whole point so I hope uh, you guys uh, enjoyed this episode and I hope it's been useful to you guys and I'll, again subscribe to us for future episodes and in the future I'm trying to come up with new subjects and new ideas and share more uh, information about with you guys about knowledge in game industry and entertainment in industry especially in a, a mobile section and a casual gaming section because it's a huge deal it's a huge deal and uh, it's becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and the casual game industry right now is one of the biggest industry like in a game business so again subscribe to us and check out our website check out what we're doing it's www.zulax.com and right now actually we I guess we upgrading our websites and also uh, follow us on Twitter and uh, connect with us on Facebook and uh, Whenever I make a new video, I post them on Facebook and Twitter. So that way you guys never are going to miss the, the next episode. And if you like, uh, you like this video, make a comment and it's going to help me out. And also uh, keep in touch. Thank you again for watching and see you guys in the next episode.